It was right underneath the root here. Guys, I just got an unbelievable bucket list of here. First time ever coin. Was not expecting it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so disbelief right now. Forgive me for the wind if it's windy out. There's a big field to our left. We've been all around this field. It took us a long time to get to the spot. Real kind of off the beaten path. The yeah, we pound in the middle. We got like clad coins. Well, somebody else pounded in the middle. Most likely, how quiet it is. But right up on the edge of the, the hill here, you see we got the woods right there. I'm right up on the brush here. I'm using the Mine Lab Equinox 800. I gotta check the signal again, cause I, I just went blank. Look what I got here. I got my first ever Spanish Riel Pistarine. So you're saying this is 1730s and older? Uh, oh my God. I was so nervous if I shoveled it. I don't think I did. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh my God. It looks freaking mint. Damn. Oh, oh. 1735. Wow. I believe. <sighs> I don't want to rub it. It's not worth it. Take my time later. Might be 1725. They make their numbers weird. You know, I know a, f a five. I thought it was like a nine. When I got that two real at that beach. That's crazy. Oh my God. I'm going to let you play around with that. All right. When he says, I'm going to let you play around with that, he is determined to get something of glory. Right? Right. He's in silent right now. I know he's happy for me. I hope he gets one too, though. I don't have to find anything else. Uh, I can't freaking believe this. Let me see what's, what the uh, tone is so you guys all know. I mean, it's out of the ground. Disconnect us so you can hear it too. What was that, a wee penny? It comes out like a wee penny low tone. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. That is what I'm talking about, guys. This is why we do the hobby. Look at that glory right there. Oh, all right, we're gonna keep going here. I'm gonna definitely hug the corner here, the edge of the farm. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys. Get back to you a little bit on the next signal. I actually just asked my wife today. What day do you think, or what month do you think I'm gonna get my first tick on me? And today actually happened to be that same day. And I got a tick on me. That little fella deer tick. He is on the move. The nasty little things. They can mess up your life. Yeah, that's a deer tick. I don't think I got any more. You see I'm right on the trail, and I just came out. It's very walkable. So I don't know what he was on. Greg's still in there. Told him I got a tick. So I'm gonna take care of this little buddy and uh, be on to the next signal. All right, guys. I'm actually out in the field right now. Greg's just somewhere over there in the mist. And uh, yeah, I needed to get out of those woods. I needed to get away from the ticks. I just got a interesting find here. I thought it might've been like a silver spoon. It's coming up a 10, which is like very weird. It's very low. Let's see, look at the way it wipes though. I wonder if it's it's folded over. I didn't do that. I think it was just the way it was. Looks like it's ready to break there at the, that little joint. Let's get the dirt out of the clump here and see if we can see what it is. Yeah, because the dirt out of the clump makes a lot of sense. Um, I would say it looks like silver to me. At least silver plated. Yeah. The marking would be underneath here, so. I'll get back to you with the name maybe on this. We'll see. All right. Came up a 10 though. That's weird. That's like gold. But this ain't gold. All right. I'm gonna find Greg. He's somewhere over there. On to the next. Oh, 
All right, just moved over to a different section of the field. It was very foggy over there. And we just came into like, you can kind of see right there, that's power lines. Came into the field right here and I just got a solid 17. And I've been digging a lot of the 17s lately and it's been nothing but foil. But this one's a little different. About five inches down in the hole here and I got a eagle button. Look at that. Um, let's see if we can see something here. Yeah, I think right there. And I think it's an eagle looking to the left, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what happened. Oh, it even has the cloth on it from the... Oh, I didn't even notice that. It still has some of the original cloth on it from the uh, soldier that was wearing it. That is awesome. You don't see that often. Oh, then the shank is there. It's just kind of buried in that cloth. Got to punch the dirt out a little bit right there to be able to see it. All right. Oh, wait a minute, too. I think there's an eye right there in the middle of the uh, eagle, which would indicate infantry, I believe. And I think the other eagles, there was eagle buttons that had an A on it for artillery. Oh, this is awesome. I got to tell Greg. Greg just came over to me. He's, man, I can't even see nothing in this mist. It's so misty out. The wind died down a lot. But, uh, yeah, he just got a large, uh, lar no, I think it was a copper. It was a British copper. A little on the toasty side, but one of his better ones. That is awesome. All right, let's keep going. I think we hit into a good spot. I just got a couple pieces of lantern, too. So, could be another nectar sector around here. All right, just got another signal. About four or five inches down again. Oh, where was it? I thought that was it. And it's a button. Oh, was that? That ain't colonial, is it? Hold on a second. Let me give it a blow. I was thinking it was an 1800 button. It looks like there's a lift on that shank. No, it, it is 1800, it's okay. Wow, beautiful button. It was like the day it was made, look at that. Nice morning shank on that. Beauty. Nice and straight. No little lean to it. Wonder if we get an image on there. Definitely get some wording on that. All right. Oh, yeah, I can see it there. Came up at 22. All right. Keep going. I just took a break because I had to show you guys. Look at what we're right, like right next to. What is on my lens? Was that my finger? It's like an orb. What is that? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's a whole bunch of orbs. Look how loud this is right now with all these freaking frogs and I don't know what you call it out there. That is crazy. I, I took my headphones off just using my detector without the headphones. And um, yeah, I can't even freaking hear the sound because this is so loud. There's a lake right down there past that fence. All right. Let's keep going. I'm going to put my headphones on, though, until I get away from this lake. Big party going on down there. Greg! Oh. Uh, he's right there. <laughs> All right. On to the next signal. It's been some time, but I just got a nice signal deep in the hole, pretty, about six, seven inches down. And I thought it was like a flower tag. But look at this freaking thing. I can't believe that. I think this is like some type of dandy button. Oh my God, is a mosquito on my neck? Anyway, dandy button, I think. They kind of cut it though. It's like special in a way, it looks like. There might be some type of design on it. I think this is the back. And look at that freaking side. Oh my God. Some type of spiral flower design, it looks like maybe. I've never seen a button like that. Wow. Whew. What an awesome night. All right. Heading back to the car. Almost done here. See you guys in the next signal. Just got my last signal here. Down in the hole out six seven inches down along with the uh, little mealworm whatever these these things are <laughs> oops 
and I think I'm gonna end it with this. <sighs> An unbelievable hunt. I think this is gonna be one of those tom back buttons. I don't think it's gonna be a coin because it's it's curved a little bit. Let's see. <sighs> I'm shot. Is it? Oh, it is. Look at that. It just broke the clump off, and it's a beautiful tom back button. You can always tell the way these 1700 buttons when they're tom back how they shine like that beautiful shank's broken but it's got a little bit there to show <laughs> all right so next time happy hunting everyone thanks for watching